my channel I do hope you're doing well so we've got a new little haul for a new month and my lovelies you can tell by the picture not only is it a Primark haul but we also have a new bag last month we had I believe it was the pink checkered one I managed to get my hands on the blue one and we I have a lot of odds and bobs okay i'm not gonna lie i went into my primark and i was a little bit saddened um there was just jimble jumble i didn't go there particularly late i went on a weekday afternoon and there was just empty bays everywhere you still had all like um the odd bits of autumn and winter stuff i was trying to sell it looked like they was putting loads of new displays out but when i personally went i didn't find much we still have a huge bag and I think I've done pretty good for what I could get my hands on. So, you know it's going to be a long one as always. Get comfy and let's get in with this month's good old fashioned Primark haul, eh? <laughs> right. So, <laughs> the first thing I saw and it was kind of like a novelty but you know me. I love a good hat, don't I? I normally go for a rough sturdy hat like a black fedora but i saw this baby this is a white i don't know it's kind of like a fedora still i think but it's like a straw version love the black ribbon around it and this was only four quid which i thought was very good indeed how am i uh looking probably not with uh, this hair excuse this is um the realities of filming my lovelies i've got a lovely top on the bottom calvin klein bottoms on the uh bottom because mother nature gotta be comfy so just as long as you can see this if you see a little bit of checkered it's with good old calvin clients but yet yeah, what do we think now we all know i am partial to a hat and uh when i saw this little white one i was like oh she's new she can go to the collection and for four quid i thought you know what go wild they did have it in a tan color but i was trying to remember like what i had and i had a tan floppy hat and now i'm looking up i also have a white floppy hat with a little like beige tie around but this is very is it a fedora or like a bowler's hat i'm getting like french vibes like uh off to cans or anything like that you know not that obviously i am but yeah saw that for four quid and say so they had it in a tan with a white ribbon around i believe so if white is not your color didn't see it in a black though i would think if they have black they might contrast it with a white ribbon or might just go all around with a black ribbon but yeah that was the first little thing that went straight in the basket and then i saw this so for reference i get everything either in a size 10 or a size small which is a 10 to 12 um predominantly i wouldn't say i'm larger chested but some things can be a bit snug on the girls um five foot two five foot three for height just for reference but as i say all the try on clips you will see i'll put them there and i'll give them the thumbs up the thumbs down the stretchy test all of that so i saw this and i thought how nice so it's kind of a little play suit you've got a little tie up detail here which is irrelevant i think it's just for display and then it comes down i liked it because it had a good high waistband and then as it comes down it's like a nice play suit level i don't feel looking at this that it would show my bum the lighting has gone a little haywire canon neutralize a little bit we're gonna go with it i think it's all the coloring it's kind of like thrown it off a bit but yeah i saw this it looks stretchy looks like it's got a good bit of stretch will it be see-through though that is the test right let me put that back up because this is going to annoy me if the coloring oh god it's like we've got a sepia effect what's going on canon here I have some white are you gonna neutralize back i think i think we're back to normal Oh, my lovelies, I've got no idea. We're just going to have to go with the flow, aren't we? So, yes, I picked this up in a size 10, and this was £9. So, I didn't think that was too bad. As I say, I'm hoping it's stretchy. This, with like a little crochet cardigan on, I think is going to be lovely for the spring and summer months. And does it have pockets, I just feel? No. Oh, that's not too bad. You can always have like a little side strap bag. So, yes, pick that up for nine quid, And then... If you watched where mum bought my Primark haul, she picked up some black versions of these shoes. And I absolutely fell in love. Oh, we've gone back to normal now. Thank you, Canon. Um, I absolutely fell in love. When I went back this time, 
They had them in hot pink, just like the bag that she got, and also this gold colour. So I thought, you know what? I don't normally have gold shoes or really anything gold in my wardrobe they're a nice little heel i've absolutely fallen in love with the black ones a square toe and these my lovelies are 12 pound primark seem to really be stepping it up in their footwear department i mean for me anyway i've actually bought quite a few as so i kept the black ones that mum got i got some of them like wedgie cloggy style ones the month before and i saw this so i thought well i've got a classic black and then if i want something a little bit lighter I've got them in gold. I would have loved them in silver or potentially white. And it did cross my mind to pick up the pink pair as well. But I thought, no. I'm trying to be sensible. What would I get more wear out of? Pink ones or kind of like semi-neutral. A little bit metallic in a way. Oh, itchy face. Hay fever season, my lovelies. Well and truly upon us. The uh, new tablets I've been taking absolutely great i haven't really been having like my sneezing fits on my itchy throat but i do still get like very itchy around the eyes like i can't i can't just let go and scratch the eyes you know and then okay i got a little bit sock obsessed so these are the ones that i have for gym so you know me normally i get the packs of plain black or the neutral they're called footsies and they're just like what you wear inside loafers pumps anything like that but these are special sports ones you're thinking, Shannon, you've got two packs. There's another two packs as well in there somewhere. I got a little carried away. Obviously, now with going to the gym, you cannot re-wear socks. Not that I have to, because I do have quite a few. But you know when you go and put them on and I think, oh, they're looking a bit ropey now. Or looking a little bit seen better days. So um, I went in there and got a little bit carried away. So the first pair I got... They're sport footsies, they're micro fresh, fresher for longer. And it's because they've got like all vents in them. So antibacterial technology, a comfort top, a reinforced heel and toe and ventilation mesh. So I don't know if it's going to pick up, but can you see they're like holy? <laughs> I don't really know, like a mesh holy ventilated sock. You get five pairs for £3, which people might think, that's a bit expensive because the normal footsies I only think are like a pound or two. But these are the proper sports ones. And it's probably going to sound so silly. But if, say, mine are in the wash and I have to wear a pair of the normal natural footsies, oh, my God, I feel it so much in the foot, especially on the heel. So these have the reinforced heel, which you may think by looking at them, it's literally just a sock. But they are so so good they don't show on your trainers anything like that and yes highly recommend them if you're looking for like a cheap alternative for sports socks because i've seen some sports socks and they are ridiculous price they are so expensive and i'm not about that five pairs for three pad yes please that is why i got four sets I've got a little carried away and then these ones i absolutely love i have got a neon pack but i only bought one so i was like sometimes you know when i have say like my pink outfit that mum got me on i want some pink socks i want the whole shebang so again three pad and these are the neon sport footsies so we've got a lilac a bright neon yellow a coral a pink and is that a yeah like an aqua greeny minty blue aqua blue and mint green that's what i was trying to say shannon lee but yeah absolutely love these and as i say there's another um two packs somewhere in the bag so i've got 20 new socks that's great i mean i go to the gym three sometimes four times a week so plenty stocked up plenty stocked up my lovelies right i saw this this was on the way to the checkout and i was like oh i wonder if i could style that so it was 15 pound a little bit pricey but you know me, last year, I loved a good denim piece. Um, I picked up a denim dress that was like longer at the back and then shorter at the front. Absolutely fell in love. And I got a black denim play suit. Well, I saw this. You're probably thinking it's just a denim dress. That, you are right, my lovelies. But I loved it's kind of like this puffball effect. And at the back, it's got like this little ruching, crinkled... I don't know. It just caught my eye. You're probably thinking, Shannon Lee, you are making a right pixie holding this up. Yes, I am. And uh, you will see better in the try on clip. And oh, look, the colour's gone funny again. It must be when I hold the whites up. Oh, and then we're back to normal. Callum, what is going on? See, you can tell I'm not like professional at all this because normally when the light goes funny, people just go like, 
doop, and click their camera. I don't know any of these settings around my camera. I've had it, what, two and a half years, and I just leave it on auto. I don't touch it, I don't change it, I just leave it be because I have no idea if I press something and change it and it all goes a little bit up, well, I'd have no idea what I want to do. So yes, this was totally digressing there, didn't I? 15 quid. I think this could be great potentially paired with a crop top underneath. I mean, I would have to wear something, but I don't know. Could be a little risque, maybe. I don't know how I would style that. And also, you could probably get away with like a long sleeve top or like a cap sleeve top. Maybe some Converse wedges. Or you could just wear a little bra underneath, be a bit saucy, and have it for an evening dress. Who knows? Whatever you fancy. Could I be that risque? No. I need to, um, maybe something to still keep the bingo rings covered, you know? But we'll see how we get on. Right. I picked these up in the gym wear section. Because I was hoping they would have a little matching top, but they didn't. The only thing, though, I think they're going to be see-through. But it says that they are ripped. So it's from the workout range. I got them in a size small, which is a 10 to 12. And these were £10, okay? So they are basically a long line. No cuffs or anything. It's just like a normal legging. But they are a lemon ribbed. Can you see that? It's got like a nice high waistband, so that's good. But the only thing I'm thinking, they had them also in not a dark grey, like a very light, like dove grey. But I'm thinking they could potentially be see-through. I'm still on the hunt. I've got some black leggings in here. A lot of you have been sending me your recommendations for black leggings. So thank you. I shall just be waiting until payday comes around before I spend any more money. Because bank account's not really uh, my best friend at the moment. Yeah. See, I'm just putting my fingers through there, and they could potentially be see-through. But as I say, you'll see in the try-on clip, which I would have put there, or if they were see-through to the point of that is not going in the internet, you'll get the sad text that'll be like, what, what, what? But yeah, £10. I was slightly gutted that they didn't have, like, a top or maybe just, like, a throw-over to go with it, because that would have been quite a little cute set, I think. But yeah, they didn't, I'm afraid. Can I do a Primark haul and not buy underwear? No. Do I have an underwear obsession? Yes. Do I just love any form of underwear, nightwear, bed socks, you name it, the lot? Yes. So I picked this pack up. These are ba -ba -ba -ba, the three pack of hipsters. So these are kind of like my go-tos. Apart from the thongs and the one pan thongs and G-strings and everything like that. If I get a pack, it is normally the hipsters. So I get them in a size small and they are £5 for three. I love this kind of like waterfall, watercolour design. And then you just get a plain, like a periwinkle blue, I would say. And then you have a really lovely mint green. Absolutely loved it. Did I need any more? Absolutely not. Is my underwear drawer overflowing? Well, I say drawer. That whole chest of drawers is pretty much underwear and pyjamas, ain't it? I mean, I've got one side just for knickers and then one side is for thongs and G-strings. And let me tell you, both sides are overflowing and I still buy more. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. There's nothing like getting a new pair of undies, is there, my lovelies? And then, very basic, I probably won't do a trial clip for this because you have seen this a million times over. It is the good old-fashioned Primark Basics, £1.80. That's the back of it. And that is the front. Get it the right way around, Shannon So I just got it in a really nice red. As I say, who remembers when Primark used to do vest tops that were like the slinky material? I've still got a few in, I think it's black, white, grey and blue and yellow i love them materials and i don't want to be paying a zara price for a vest top that's slinky so for the minute i'm going to keep them because they normally i just have underneath something or if i put a shirt over the top just as a little extra layer but yeah this is kind of the new is it just plain cotton that's probably why it's a bit cheaper because i think the um slinky ones were about 250 but for 180 i mean you just can't go wrong did i need any more vest tops though no, 
the drawer to my uh, right there as we speak is overflowing for the basic vest tops, the basic crew neck tops, my oversized tees, there's just everything's overflowing my lovelies, everything's overflowing. Do you think that will stop me buying stuff? No. Still going to carry on buying, ain't I? I just don't know when to stop. So, I love how they call these fashion socks. Um, I don't have these as fashion socks. I have them as gym socks again, all right? So, I've got three pairs of cotton rich fashion socks. And these were £2.50. But I like them because they're a nice rib. So, you've got a white pair with a black stripe. There is a black pair with a white stripe. And then... Oh, so we've got two whites with the black stripe and one black with a white. I like having these. Um, you know, sometimes, not even just with gym leggings, but like leggings in general. You know, sometimes where you walk and they just ride up. And then you get that awkward little bit of flesh. If you're not wearing like um, flip-flops or anything, say you're wearing trainers or boots or anything, that little thing that just like slides up and then you've got that awkward little bit of flesh and you're like, is it cool? Are they meant to look free cool? I, I don't particularly know. These are a lifesaver. When I go gym, if I've got um, a grey pair of leggings that I wear, they are infamous to roll up in the corners. So you know what I do? Put these on and then kind of like... It can look silly and childish in a way, but I don't care. And I literally just put these over the leggings. Don't like have them all the way up. I literally just bunch them over the top of the trainer. Keeps the legging in. You look kind of cute and cool. Well... I think you do, you probably don't, but hey ho. And yeah, I've just got them. So I only actually have one pair of these types of socks. It is a singular pair that I think was from Primark as well. White, and it's got three stripes, which are all the different pastel colours. So again, a little bit more uh, monochrome, let's just say. Right, what have we got? What have we got? Now, I fell in love when I saw this style of top so much that I think I bought four. Don't shoot me, don't, don't shout at me, don't shoot me, don't moan at me. I loved them, okay? So this, I don't know if it's a new, I think they potentially could have done something like this style last year because I do feel like I've seen it before and I feel like I may have a couple but... When I went through my decluttering, I didn't find anything like this. So maybe just an excuse to buy some new ones. So I got these in a size small and they are three pound, all right, my lovelies. They are normally next door to, well, in my store, they was next door to the basic vest tops. And then you get like the singular shorts down the aisle, which are like two fifty three pound. And they are these like little crop tank tops. So the first one I got, because yes, I did get four, um, is this periwinkle blue. Now, my thinking of this, great, where is a little crop top, under a shirt, you've got high-waisted jeans on, that didn't sound right, high-waisted pair of jeans on, chuck this on, chuck over like one of my tartan shirts, good to go. You need a little crop top for bedtime, we're coming into the summer now, absolutely great. I can't find a top for the gym so I've got my sports bra on. I just need something to go over the top. Absolutely great. These are going to be so multi-useful, my lovelies. Honestly, if they fit, which, fingers crossed, you will see in the try and clip if it was a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I hope they don't expose say, the girls too much. But they are adjustable straps, which is great. And, oh, couldn't even hold it there, could I, my lovelies? And they do feel quite stretchy. So, that was the first colour and then have I got any more to hand oh yeah is that one yeah and then I picked up this gorgeous coral colour coral peach whatever you want to call it how gorgeous is that how lovely is that so I thought you know what because I had such a disaster with the gym sets from last month and um, the shorts and the top I don't know what they've done but when I was speaking to people and I've seen online this year's like not formula, but like the material looks the same, but there's just no stretch in it. So I don't know what they've done, but I was so glad that I wasn't the only one who had problems because when I tried it on and then I literally, when I finished that video, tried my old set on and I was like, how? They're both size 10s. They are both the same. Why are they not fitting? And yeah, I weren't the only one. So I'm glad to hear that. 
because I was getting a little bit paranoid like oh my god another little bit from the older workout range this was a five pound again in a size small 10 to 12 this is just one of their basic like little sports bras it does have the cup in it i don't feel like it's going to give you full support but these are great just to chuck on under a top and um, i would sometimes wear this if i wasn't doing a lot of running or bouncing up and down like in classes these are great just to chuck on if you're doing say more like stretches and machine work and all of that but yeah if i'm on the treadmill or i know i'm going to be like up and down the decathlon sports bra goes on and then just a big baggy tee goes over the top but yeah for five pound i actually really rate primark section seven pound for the leggings is normally my go-to's because um the ten pound ones they don't have stretch she says that she's got a uh, £10 pair of leggings in there. But yes. I'll tell you what, my lovelies. Go and have a drink. Get comfy. Get refuelled. And let's come back with part two. Because we've still actually got quite a lot left. Now, ain't that a shock? <laughs> right. So, let's get in with part two. I started buying a lot of hair accessories, ain't I? And I saw this and I thought this would be a really cute clip. To go with the pink gym set that mum got me so I can match my uh, clip accessories to the gym wear. This was £2. It's just like that standard claw clip. But it is a pink and white iridescent. And I love it. I've actually bought like quite a lot of clips and scrunchies and hairbands. I still can't get my big donut. You remember I got the two little mini donuts? I can't get the big donut for my hair. So at the moment I can't relive my 20 year old Shannon state of mind with the big bun donut with the little flower rings because yes i was that person and i still have all my flower rings i'm not going to get rid of them because they are perfect to go on when i have my bun when i have my donut but they don't look cute when i just do a messy bun so i need my donut i'm still on the hunt for that my lovely still on the hunt is there anything better than new nightwear no and is there anything better when it's barbie I just, I couldn't not. This was £6, my lovelies, a size 10 to 12. And it's pretty standard. It is just a Barbie nightdress. Nothing more to say. You've got your Barbie across it. It looks very oversized, which is what I want. You know, we can't be having stuff too tight or clingy or like shorts that ride up when you move your leg over. We're not about that. So, yes, absolutely love that. They did have a set in their Angel you know Lilo and Stitch, Lilo's the blue monster. They've got a pink monster, Angel, and they had a little set for her, but the only size um, small they had left, the shorts had like a big hole in them, and I was like, oh. And I said to the lady, I said, oh, have you got any more of these at the back? She went, they're going so quick, literally, what we've got is what we've got, and I was like, but Barbie come and save the day, and I might have another pair of pyjamas in there that just, when you see them, you will know why they caught my eye, all right? You will know um another two packs of socks so if i've got the classic white ones of course i've got to get the classic black pair my lovelies exactly the same i love how normally i find with sports socks it's gonna sound so silly but black and white ones are always more expensive i think because they think they look like cleaner or like they're the more crisp ones whatever they are primark it's all the same. And then I got these ones. And these I'm absolutely loving. They are the full footsies. But they're like a tie-dye effect. They're so cool. So you've got like this pink tie-dye one. And then you've got a white marbly one. Then you've got like a coral one. A very baby pink one. And then a lilac one. I absolutely love these. I was just like, yes, please straight in the bag and when the woman was doing the uh cashier yeah she was like the cashier lady taking it all up she was just like someone likes socks so i was like yes i do i'm sorry but i do ah i've picked this up from the workout section also these are one of their basic tops this was three pound fifty mum you will know gets me the ones with like the cap sleeve but I saw this one, it is muscle back. Again, don't really like showing the bingo wings, but perfect for class. It's perforated, it's got holes in. I think it will look cute with that grey one underneath, because I say, might be a little bit see-through if I just go in with a bra, but yeah. Primark is so cheap and cheerful for that active wear and the gym wear. Canon. 
You know what I'm going to say, don't you, my lovelies? Can I, you're just, you're ruining my vibes here, okay? Let's go and change the battery and I'll be right back. <laughs> there we go. I mean, Canon, you're so rude. You just interrupt every part I call, didn't you? Oh. More underwear, but I fell in love with these. These were a little bit more pricey, okay? These are the three-pack minis, which were £6. But, not only did I just love the colours, they're also day of the week knickers. And they are the three most important days of the week, all right? So we've got this one for Friday. Lovely little uh, lilac -y colour. Then we've got salmon pink with aqua writing for Saturday. And then we have got an aqua green with lilac writing for Sunday. So you know what? I've got my weekend nick nick sorted and I love the style of them. They're just like frilly and girly and cute. And when I saw them, I was like, okay, you're £2 a pair. I still love you. You're going straight in the basket, okay? Going straight in the basket. Oh, and these, these were another little checkout uh, splurge, let's just say. 50p, 120 rounds. I needed some of these because I've run out in me the dispenser thing when i do me my cell of water as i say normally i do use my cloths but sometimes if it's just to get like little bits off or if i'm doing my tonic i like to have a pad that i can press on my tonic so yeah absolutely love them they normally have the large oval ones that i think are about a pound or maybe 80p but they didn't have any and they wouldn't have fitted in my thing so yeah just a standard pack of the 120 rolls that we got there got another little denim number i'm being very optimistic with denim again pigs ear holding it up you'll see more in the trial clip but my play suit that i got last year was a black one didn't have any belt it was more of a structured design but i saw this and first off i love the buttons you're probably thinking sham they just look like normal buttons but i absolutely love them I love the wash of denim. We all know that I absolutely love like an acid wash. I loved the belt around the middle. And also it's got pockets, okay? It's got pockets. What more could you want? I'm hoping, because at the length of this, it looks like it shouldn't rise up the bum. It should keep the older derriere covered. But we're going to go with it. Picked it up in a size 10 and this was £17. So I have noticed that Primark's prices, oh gold, the colouring's all going to drift again, ain't it? Canon, Canon, can you refocus please and not wash me out? I mean, I know I'm pal, but good lord. Um, the denim bits are slowly creeping up. I just think it's because, is it made with, made with recycled cotton? So I think everything that is like made with reusable materials has slightly gone up because obviously it's better for the environment but it's a little bit costly. So you just play that little bit extra. However, if it fits, your girl's going to be very, very happy because that, I think, is going to be such a staple. I mean, we all know I don't really do denim, do we? I've only got one pair of jeans from Florence and Fred, which I absolutely love and that actually fit me. But apart from that, I don't really do denim. Maybe a couple of denim jackets, but I don't really wear much denim at all. I do want to start getting me dresses out and... I think I should fit in that play suit. <laughs> she says that she only bought it last year. But we should do. I mean, we're on the straight and narrow. We're on the straight and narrow, my lovelies. Right, you're really going to shout at me for this next thing that I bought. I tried so hard. But when I saw the colour it was in, I just... I couldn't not. I got another £5 set, but I didn't get the ribbed version, okay? I think I've maxed out all the colours of the ribbed version. So I got the little lace one, but it's in this gorgeous lemon colour. I mean, just look at that. These are a dupe for lounge, all right? You've got this gorgeous little G-string with not much uh, material on the back, but hey-ho, you've got a lovely little design there. I get mine in a 34D to cover the old girls, and I just love them. As I say, they are exactly a dupe for lounge um as much as i love lounge you will not catch me paying full price i uh, take full advantage when the sales are on so when you can get this for a fiver any time of the year round absolutely love it they did also have it in the mint green 
but I held off because I can't remember if I've already got it. So when this goes away, I need to have a little uh, restock of what I actually have. There will be no try on clip for the underwear as usual. If you're new around here, I will try everything on, except any underwear, swimwear, anything like that, all right? But yeah, absolutely love that. And I think that could be a new little set for when you have that pamper day when you have a full head to toe exfoliation you wash your hair you're feeling good and you just put on a new little underwear set eh? is there anything feeling better i don't think so right i got these from the workout range my lovelies size small these are seven pounds all right but still on the hunt for my black leggings they didn't look too bad so it's got on the waistband push forward which i really like and they're a little cheeky with our logo. It looks very much like the Gymshark logo, I think. But I was like, okay, we're not going to uh, prejudge. They do feel like they've got a good bit of stretch. So hopefully there will be a try on clip. And I'm hoping they're not going to be see-through. They don't. Let me put the hand in, do the hand test. I mean, you're going to see the lumps and bumps. Even with Gymshark, you could still see my lumps and bumps. But... Lumps and bumps I can deal with. It's just not seeing the full underwear in them. So, would these have got a thumbs up, thumbs down? Did we have a sad little bit of text being like, super see-through? Or guess what? Couldn't even get them on, Shan. Couldn't even get them on. Ain't that just fabulous? And then, da -da 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 -da. oh, I fell in love with these. Fell in love. I just, anything lemon was just in my vibe. So, I got a pair of little toweling shorts. But they're Winnie the Pooh. How cute. I thought these are great, like, with those little crop tops, which I was seeing if they had a lemon. They didn't. So I'm highly, highly disappointed. I'm hoping they're going to bring a lemon. Because if they've got the blues and the corals and the salmons and the lilacs, you need the lemons. So I thought these are just great. They are very short, short, okay? I will not be leaving the house in these. Uh, these are literally for them days where you're just dossing, chilling around the house. And this is just a little comfy throw on with a vest top. You're good to go, ain't you? And then, oh my god, right, so these are the next pyjamas I saw. Does that not just scream Shannon? It looks like someone has paint bombed a pair of pyjamas and I'm here for it. It's all the cool pastel tones. We've got lilacs, peach, lemon, blue. Oh my god, absolutely love it. And this is the cotton material, so it's like the springy material. A very, very baggy, loose vest top. Picked it up in a size small, and these are £7, all right? As much as I love the look of the silky ones and the feel of them, I would probably say size up at least one size, if not two. Because if you're like me and you're a fidgety sleeper, I've said it before, if you stretch that leg out, it rides up. It's not comfortable. These are nice and flowy. They're not going to be riding up. And if they do, they're baggy. They're not going to hurt you, all right? So, yes, I have such high expectations for these. You will probably see me rocking them with me bed socks in the try and clip. Like, yep, yeah. look at me with me new pyjamas on. Because is there anything better than new pyjamas? No. You have those days, my lovelies, where you have a good old pamper, head-to-toe exfoliation, everything, the lot. Put on a fresh pair of PJs, new underwear, new bed socks. You are good to go, aren't you? You are absolutely good to go. And then, oh, we've got something hooked up. The other two tops. So I thought, because I wanted to wear one with the Winnie the Pooh, and obviously they didn't have a yellow. So I just picked up that crop top in a standard white as well. Again, still £3. Absolutely love them. I think they are going to be such staples. And as I say, for me personally, I can use them for so many things. Pajamas, going out, gym wear, anything like that. And then, I mean, come on. If they've got it in a pink, your girl's got to get it, okay? Um, I just could not. I'll tell you what colour I would like to see something like this in. Either like a green or an orange, like a peachy colour. That may be nice. I know we've got the salmon, but maybe like a bright burnt orange. Oh, that'd be nice. And then I saw this, okay? This was like... Two pound, but it's a bikini bag. I think it's a bikini bag. It's just a see-through pink S. But I thought this is great for when I go to the gym, just to chuck in like my roll-on because at the moment 
I've got a little bag inside my gym bag, but that's for like my glucose and my hypoglycemia medication and bits and bobs because I don't want, if those juices leak, it's going to stain everything, right? They're like um, glucose tabs and drinks and everything like that. I don't want that staining. So I just kind of chuck my roll on and my deodorant and everything like that. And so I thought a nice little bag like this, I can put my roll on in, I can get some like mini deodorants, mini hairbrush and just kind of have it as like my little go-to necessary bag you know like the one where i can just be like yoink time to freshen up shannon lee love them they had them in yellow and blue as well but it was just like certain letters were designated with certain colors got yet another vest top what can i say we all know i love a bit of green and this one really caught my eye it's not doing any justice in the light but it is a really gorgeous emerald green and as i say saw it with the red kind of more christmas vibes all right red and green they're not exactly well red could be summer and green but oh, oh i got cramp oh, i done my three classes today and now my body is slowly starting to seize which is great ain't it um yes absolutely love them red and green probably more christmasy fired but you can't go wrong can you they're just so handy to chuck on right this I will insert some text of how I found this because obviously there will not be a trial clip. But I picked up a swimsuit, right? I want to start aqua aerobics. And uh, I was trying to find a nice swimsuit, but the ones from, say, like Decathlon or anything like that, I just found not my style, okay? I still want to be covered up. Like, you need to be covered up. But I still want it to feel nice and like a bit feminine in it. So, I picked this one up. It comes down. It's got the nice high cut out leg. It's not going to give us thunder thighs, hopefully. You know, like the tree tump. Tree tump? Tree stump top of the legs. That's what I was trying to say. That is what we try and avoid, ain't it, my lovelies? And it's been a bit hit and miss for me. But I liked it because it's got this zip down the middle. So, some of the swimsuits that I saw, they was like all well and good. But they was a little bit plungy on the girls i don't want to be jumping around and feel the girls are like going to come out and you have a nip slip or something and just as i've bounced all the clothes have fallen down great for me ain't it? Oh, that's just fabulous represents my life tumbling down into a little crumble eh? <laughs> but yes i saw this and i really like this zip effect so i thought you know what this could be quite good the girls could be secure i'm hoping it's good, as I say, I will leave the text down below how I found it. But this, my lovelies, size 10, and I got it 12 quid, which I didn't think was too bad. They did have it in a bright orange. You know, like I was saying, I wish them tops were in like a burnt orange. They had one like this. But I thought, you know what, stick with the black, because you don't want to be rocking up to aqua aerobics in like this bright orange number. Like, hey, I'm here. I just want to kind of like get in the pool and mingle and just see how we go. I've got my first one booked for next week, so fingers crossed we shall see how it goes and then we're coming down to our last two things my lovelies these tops if you've seen it where i bought mama juice primark haul she swears by these they are six quid i got mine in a size small i went for the classic black okay it says brooklyn and again you can wear it with leggings you can wear it with jeans you can wear it with cycling shorts but for me this is going to be one of those tops for when it's time of the month and i'm going to the gym and i don't want nothing i don't want nothing clinging to me i don't want people to see my bloated belly i just want to be like free and able to sweat and not be worried that oh my god my leggings are going to roll down because my belly's too big on here and i'm just bloated and i'm getting cramps all of that jazz so i have got this to be a gym top another one we can see a theme here can't we the primark calls are slowly just becoming all the workout wear and the canon we have gone a little bit you're making me casper again darling and then the last thing my lovelies is another play suit so i saw it in the blue and then i saw it in this gorgeous yellow color and i just had to have it again i got it size 10 it's nine pound they call it orange but i'd say it's a bit more like a mm, potentially orange i just thought it was sunshine yellow so yeah hopefully this got a nice thumbs up which one do you prefer the orange or the blue hmm. and would you look at that the bag is empty 
the fabulous bag i do now need to alternate between that and my pink one because when i look back at the pictures i'm like oh i don't want to use my normal primark bag now i want them for funky colors how cool would it be in the winter if they'd done like an orange one or a brown one or a green one and then for christmas we had like red and cobalt blue I get way too excited about stuff, don't I? <laughs> so, my lovelies, you will know before me whether things got a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Were they stretchy? Were they fitted? Were they see-through? That is the question for the gym bits because now I go and try them all on. So, as I say, you would have all seen the clips, whichever way I put them. But now it's for my first impressions to go and actually put them on. But, yes, I love the underwear. I can't help it. I just love the colours. And I can't go in Primark and not go down the underwear aisle. I'm just like, I'm drawn to it. It's like I gravitate towards it. I didn't see any nice coloured one pound thongs though. I mean, they had the lemons and that, but I've already got them. And I think I've got more than one of most of the colours. So I've kind of stayed away from there and gone with a few little new styles. As I say, hipsters are a classic, but the minis, I just loved them because of the thrill on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the best three days for me. So yes. Who knows how we're going to get on, my lovelies. But if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do, guys. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. As I say, leave me a comment. What was your favourite item? Anything you can give me tips on. Maybe like a swimming costumes to go swimming classes. Something that's not going to overexpose the girls and potentially have a disaster. I did see a thing, but it reminded me of a scuba diving outfit. Kind of like a play suit in a way with just like the big long zip. But I thought, hmm. I don't know. I don't really want scuba diving vibes when I go swimming, you know. Let me know, have you seen the shoes in any other colours? As I say, my store had them in the gold, black and pink. But if you see white or metallic silver, let me know down below. Or yellow. I might be partial to buy a uh, block colour if they're in yellow because I just love yellow, did I? There is a theme, yellow underwear, yellow shorts. Oopsie. What can I say? Your girl is just thriving in the spring fashion. Even though it's still a bit chilly. I mean, as I speak today, we've had torrential rain. It's not really the vibe we're going for, are we? But hey-ho, we're going to have to see how it goes. And hopefully, be able to start wearing some summer clothes, eh? But yes, take care, guys. Stay safe as always. And I'll see you in the next one, which is... I know it's Tuesday, but I don't know what it's going to be. So a surprise for both of us. Bye, guys. Thank you.